Hi, this is Sean Bordner with SharePoint AMS. This is a high-level overview of how our product adds modern e-commerce capabilities to the SharePoint platform. Our solution uses web parts, lists, and content types just like you normally would in SharePoint. This page has a web part on it that displays products from our product catalog. And the products are grouped by product categories that you as the store manager would set up. So if I drop down the product categories, you see all the ones I have for this demo site. In this case, I'm displaying products from the company brand product category. This web part will display the product image, the title, the short description, the various pricing options, as well as links to add to cart and the details links to read more about the specific product. You do not have to have sale price or member price is completely configurable by you as the store manager. Additionally, I can sort by product title and by product price, respective to the product category that I'm in. Let's add a product to our cart. Again, this is just another SharePoint page with a web part on it. This is the shopping cart web part. It displays our shopping cart. So I can remove these items from my cart. I can see the subtotals. I can adjust the quantities and I can proceed to checkout. But before we proceed to checkout, let me point something out. If you see this information as an end user, it's bringing your attention to the fact that something has changed about this product since I originally put it in my cart, just like Amazon.com lets you know that, hey, the price of this product has changed. It's still showing me the current most updated price, but it's letting me know it has changed since I originally put it in my cart. Additionally, I can adjust the quantity of products to zero and update my cart. This is handy because if I want to see what the price looks like, with this quantity set to zero, or if I want to lower this quantity down to five instead of seven, for example, I can leave these things in my cart and do that and not have to hunt for them to add them back to my cart. If I do want to permanently throw these out of my cart, I just click the remove icon over on the left. I could continue shopping or proceed to checkout. Now when I proceed to checkout, it's going to calculate the real-time shipping calculations for me based off of the shipping method. Additionally, as a customer, I can add as many addresses as I need to. And these addresses could be used during my checkout experience if I wanted to ship items in my cart to different addresses. So for example, this item is going to my primary address. I could ship this item to another address called home. I could add a new address called grandma's house and ship another item. It's also smart enough to tell that, hey, you have a couple items in your cart that don't even ship. And so it's just going to display the product does not ship message to me. I could also add a coupon if I happen to have one. You as a store manager can set up these discount coupons and ultimately proceed to payment. The payment web part is still just a web part on a SharePoint page. And it allows me to plug in the name on the card, the credit card number, the expiration date, and the security code. All of this is secure, it's PCI compliant, and in fact, none of this credit card sensitive information ever actually touches your SharePoint server, whether you're hosting on-premise, hosted, or in the cloud. We handle all of this. It just appears to be on your server because we're surfacing it via these web parts that talks to our cloud services. Now, when I click on purchase, I'm going to be landed on a confirmation page if everything goes right with my credit card. And it's going to be a printer friendly page that I can print out for my records. In addition, the system's going to send an email out to me, letting me have that order confirmation via email for my records. Now, we do not rely on your SharePoint plumbing for that email message to go out. It's going to be sent through our cloud services so that we're sure that very important email gets out there. There's a lot more to this under the hood, really cool stuff that we're doing according to SharePoint best practices that we'd love to show you. But at this time, it does conclude the high level overview of our product and how it adds modern e-commerce capabilities to the SharePoint platform.